Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Kobe Outdoors, and today I'm going to be talking to you. About the Hummingbird Ice 35 Sonar. I got this about a week ago. This is a ice fishing uh, flasher. So basically, it you put the transducer in the hole under the ice, and uh, a red signal is, I'll show you on the flasher after, but a red signal is the strongest. So the red would be the bottom, and then there's little um, lines for the depth, and it tells you the depth. Uh, this is the ice 35 that it's not a digital depth, but the ice 45 and the ice 55 is a digital depth. Um, and this can read up to 80 feet, 80 feet, but they stopped making them with the extra cord, the cord to hold the transducer and the foam because they found out it was not needed anymore. But this is a three color ice flasher, which means that uh, green signal is the lightest. So if there's a green signal, it's probably like a small fish or it picks up your jig. Uh, yellow is usually probably, I don't know, depends. You can have your gain high, gain low. Like if you have your gain all the way high, a little perch, like a six inch perch could turn up as red, but I usually have my gain down low because I'm fishing for pike and big walleye, but uh, red and yellow means a big fish. And it's actually pretty cool. You can see your jig and if how the fish is interacting with it and if it's following it up, if it goes away, it's pretty good. So um, I'll show you the flasher. This, uh, if you're wondering, retails for at Cabela's. Normal prices are three. I think they had it on sale on Boxing Day for three sixty two. Um, that's without tax and rebate. So you're looking at about four hundred dollars. Um, the fishing hole, uh, where I got mine, a little bit cheaper. Uh, overall, I really like it. Really helps you out, and it you can get a uh, additional carrying case for it. I would recommend it. I haven't got it yet. Uh, I gotta save up the money because a lot of it took up this. But it just holds everything. It gives you a space to hold your uh, little tackle tray and uh, anything else you want. So I'll show you the flasher here. This is the flasher, so it comes with a battery on the back and it gives you a big manual how to set it up, but this is the transducer, so the, this is the ice level. It has to hang on in the water under the ice, so let's say the ice is two feet, you unwind the cord, you drop it under two feet of ice. But um, yeah, that's about how it looks, like you, this comes separately, you gotta put it all together. Uh, transducer hooks up in the back, battery hooks up, um, comes with a, comes with a charger, um, always red to red, black to black, uh, but I'll go over it here quickly, um, on what all these buttons are and these zooms here. So this is simulator mode, so right now if you were fishing, you would be fishing 11 feet of water, that is your jig coming down. That would indicate a fish coming up to your jig. Biting your jig, setting the hook, and reeling it up. So this is sensitivity. So as you see, it's changing. So let's say you're fishing a small Swedish pimple, and like you don't want it being like that because then it's really that means it's really big. So you want it to be like about. You will always want your jig to be a small green line. So you change your sensitivity to that, and as you can see, that fish was probably a nice size walleye or small pike like as you can see coming up off the bottom so you can this is your sensitivity this let's say you're fishing in uh like this is times one so times one is the outer ring here let's say you're fishing past 19 feet of water you flip it to times two and it goes to the second ring so this goes to um 38 feet of water 40 feet of water okay so then you can switch it to times four if you're fishing past that. It goes up to 80 feet. Then times 10, you can go times 10. 
and then it's in there. It doesn't have anything here, but that's pretty deep water, whatever you're fishing. So then gain is the same thing here. Uh, noise, that's so uh, if you're interfering with other flashers around you, you click that and it blocks out. Um, so if you turn it on to simulation mode, oh, if you click zoom, you can zoom in from, and then you use this knob to zoom in. So if I want to zoom in from the bottom, I can zoom in to make everything look bigger. So if you're fishing in like... 50 feet of water you can zoom in on a certain section where you know the fish are at and the beam you can check your battery with it so you just hold the beam button and it shows you your battery level i just charged it it's full then you just turn it off and you can get the case for it uh i would recommend it it's you know what it doesn't do a lot but it's uh for the price it's a good flasher and to charge it, you take these off, plug this part into the wall, and you go red to red, black to black. And as you can see right here, it is a orange color. And orange represents charging because I had it on for a little bit. It's a little bit weak, so it's going. If it's green, charging is finished. Um, if it's red, it means there's no connection. And if there's no light, there is no power. So that's how you charge it, and that's how it works. Um, recommend this flasher. It's very simple, easy to use. Okay guys, that is the Ice 35 Ice Fishing Flasher. Uh, there you go, there's a review. Uh, I thought I would do it, I really like it. Uh, really recommend it. Um, if you're interested in ice fishing and looking at getting a flasher, I would get that one. Uh, there's a lot more. There's Vexlars, there is um, uh, Markham units. Uh, that's a Hummingbird unit. Uh, it comes, that's a, it's the Ice 35 series, and it comes in many different series. Um, and Hummingbird makes Helix uh, flashers. Uh, so there's different kinds of ice fishing flashers. You could go out, look for thousands, but I would recommend it. It's simple, it's nice, easy to use. Uh, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, coming out with a lot more content. Um, I really want to get back into this. Uh, and I'll uh, catch you next time on another episode of Kobe Outdoors. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll be coming at you with some more videos.